Hi everyone, it's Jo. Welcome to my channel, AGTV for Life. If you're here for the first time, I have a real treat for you. And I also have a whole smorgasbord of videos for you to look at too. So please check out my channel, press the subscribe button, come back again, like this video. Well, at the end, you know, hopefully you're going to like it. Anyway, today is September 19th, 2024. And Christy at AG Takes Over and I are producing videos pretty much every Thursday. And we're giving you videos that are along the theme of a color wheel series. So Christy picks the color and we dress our dolls in the color. And also AG Bethany has joined in on the fun. And she's producing videos as her time allows. So check her out too. I'll leave a link to both of their channels down below in the description. So if you want to head on over there and see what they have to offer, knock yourself out. I must tell you, I typically create my videos in advance, but I had to travel all last week and this weekend was crazy, hectic. I went to the American Girl event in New York City on Saturday and I don't know, it's just been a whirlwind. Of course I do work a full-time job and I commute, so that's a whole nother thing. So this video was actually made today. Typically I like to make the videos early in the morning when my neighborhood is still sleeping, my house is sleeping, nobody's making noise, but unfortunately I had to slip the creation of this video in the middle of the day. The damn landscapers are out, the dogs are out, the kids are coming home off the school buses. So I just want to apologize in advance for all the noise. And I don't work off of a laptop. I work off of my desktop computer because if I had a laptop, trust me, I would pick that damn thing up and go run to another room in my house and make this video. But I can't. I have to suffer through these landscapers and everything else that's going on around me. And I'm sorry if you are suffering too as we go through the video. If it gets real bad, I'm going to put some music on. So if we hit an outfit and I'm not talking and there's music, you know exactly what happened. Okay, so advance apologies. Enjoy the video and I really hope you like everything. Oh, wait, hold on. By the way, three of your favorites are in this video. Grandma, Vinny, and Reba. So wait till you see what they have to show you. Oh, one other thing. I wanted to invite you to participate in the next video. And this is what I'm thinking. The next color is going to be orange. And if you want to dress up a doll or dolls in the color orange and send me your pictures to my Gmail account, and that is AGTV for life, two E's at the end of life at gmail.com. Send me your pictures and make a comment below that you emailed me pictures and I will include it in my color orange video. Totally up to you, but I wanted to throw that out there so that this could be a little bit more participatory and fun and getting your dolls involved as well. I would just need your submissions by Monday, September 23rd at the latest. Next up is Zi Yang and she's wearing a crop top from Bella Boo's closet. Look at how pretty it is. A skirt that I believe is our generation and some off-brand boots with a little pearl bracelet. Now look at this video I created with an app on my phone. This creepy doll popped up in it and I had to show it to you. I'm not too sure what brand she is, if she even exists, but anyway, you had to see that. And here's the back of the outfit. I think it looks pretty cute. Yeah, it goes well with my green theme. Now look at this beauty. I love this dress on her. I don't have a name for her, I don't think. Not yet, anyway. But isn't that so pretty? That's a great color for her. By the way, I made her a necklace from some jewelry I had around the house. I think it's really cute on her. And it looks like she lost one of her eyeliner, um, vinyl eyeliner decals. Oh, man. Look at this picture. I used the Photo Room app that I told you about. And the app pulled this character, whatever the heck it is, doll in the background and put it on the bench with my doll. 
Yeah. It's a little strange, right? And here's the back of her outfit. Don't ask where I got this. It came in a lot somewhere years ago. Who the heck knows? But in case you're wondering about these cute little shoes, I did a whole video on making over these American Girl shoes. The bottom of the shoe is normally pink and I painted it various colors. And here is the thumbnail. I'll include a link to this video down below for you. And here's Grandma. She is... Well, she's actually Mrs. Claus. I found her in ShopRite years ago and I took the head off the doll and I put it on American Girl doll body. And here you go, we have a grandma. And the outfit she's wearing is from Queen's Treasures that I bought years ago too. I know they don't have it anymore and luckily I bought two of these outfits. And I'm gonna show you something that happened. Anyway, isn't she so cute? She's the perfect grandma. And look at this, what happened. It's a discoloration, and trust me, this outfit has not been in the sun at all. I was getting ready to move on, and then I said, let me just stop and check eBay to see if they have the outfit out there in case any of you are interested. And right now, on September 19th, 2024, this outfit is available. So if you want it and you want to spend that money, you can snatch it up. It's a rare find, I'll tell you that. Now, here are some pictures of... A scene that I set up next to my local grocery store so you can only imagine everybody looking at me on the ground trying to take pictures setting up my dolls this scene I created back in 2020 so yeah I've been doing this stuff for a little while taking these dolls out in public and not really caring what people think and I would encourage you to do the same thing because it's very liberating trust me and I guess at this age and this stage in the game when I think about it for myself I really don't give a crap what people think about me when I take my dolls out so as you can see I have dolly money in the pot here it would have been really cool if somebody walked up and put some real bills in the pot imagine that a little bit too hopeful right and look Addie has a bell she's ringing her bell and trying to get people to put their donation in the little bucket there okay enough with getting sidetracked here is gorgeous Emily and she is modeling these really cute plaid pants with a basic white shirt both off brand and American Girl black patent leather shoes I really like these pants. I think they look so cute on her. She is such a pretty doll. This is the perfect outfit for her. Moving on to my custom. I don't know what doll she is, but that's a wig I stuck on her. She's wearing a shirt that I make and sell in my Etsy shop and a pair of jeans that I cut up for her, I should say. I didn't make the jeans. And American Girl doll sneakers. Mm -hmm. moving on and now we have Lawrence look at this cute dude he's a truly mean number 77 and he is styling an off-brand white shirt and Mary Ellen's sledding outfit jacket if that makes sense American Girl black pants and American Girl shoes I don't know about this jacket what do you think <laughs> uh, maybe it's better on Mary Ellen oh well that's what he picked, so that's what I let him wear, right? Isn't that what we do with kids? I don't fuss about clothes. Let me show you some case in point pictures. Here's my youngest daughter, mismatched pajamas, no problem. I don't know what's going on with this outfit, no problem. She looks like an ET here, no problem. Honestly, that's the least you want to worry about is what your kids are wearing at least that's my experience sometimes i would go to the grocery store with them dressed up in halloween costumes no problem you want to be simba from lion king knock yourself out let's go to the store next up is truly me Ooh, i forgot her number who is she 112 ah. leave a comment below please if you know who she is because it's gonna bug me she's wearing this pretty cool outfit it's a skateboard outfit, one, and it was released in 2001 and retired the following year in 2002. I'm clearly missing the shirt that goes underneath it, and I don't think I have the right sneakers, but oh well, it works. I thought the shirt was really cute in the shorts. Next up is my Just Like You, number 43, and she's wearing a complete 
off-brand outfit. The shirt has no tag on it. The jumper has no tag, but I think it looks really cute on her. The shoes are either Sophie or Sophie's, whatever that brand is. I was glad I had an opportunity to pull this dress out and put it on somebody. And look, these pockets are functional too. And next up is gorgeous Claudie. Oh my God, look at this dress she's rocking. I purchased this from somebody in one of the American Girl Facebook buy, sell, trade groups a long time ago. I'm sorry, I can't tell you where I got it, but I think it looks fantastic on her. And now here's your favorite guy, Vinny. I feel so bad. I didn't do a good background for him. Let's talk about his outfit. He's wearing a basic white off-brand t-shirt with his cigarettes tucked in his shoulder. A pair of off-brand shorts. I don't know where I got them. And boots I got from Mapalia. They're a little bit narrow, but they still fit American Girl dolls, and I think they're perfect for Vinny. And here's Anaya. She is wearing a seamstress made outfit I bought years ago. Once again, don't know from who. They don't have an Etsy shop. It came from one of the Facebook groups and these sandals do not go well. These are the sandals to the Sunshine Garden outfit. So let's redo this with new shoes because I didn't like the other ones on her. Much better, right? I'm sure you'll agree with me. And here's the back. And now look how tight the skirt is. And she's not even an old chubby doll. Oh, well. Next up is beautiful Ivy. And she's wearing an off-brand corduroy dress. Look at the detail on this dress. I've had this for years. Years. Don't know where I got it. Looks so good on her. And the boots, by the way, are to some American Girl set. Let me show you the embroidery on this. Just a close up. Look at that. Oh, I love it. Let's talk about these backgrounds. This app that I'm using, look what it said suggested for an American Girl doll. It knows, it knows that my dolls are American Girl dolls. Oh my God. Technology is unbelievable. I use American Girl dolls as models in my Etsy shop and I recently got a copyright strike and I've had to redo my entire Etsy shop, all my photos and everything. And by the way, I'm gonna do a separate video on that in case you're a victim of this whole copyright strike. And trust me, I'm not copying anything that's American Girl brand stuff. I am making drinks and desserts and curating sets and upcycling things and stuff like that and um yeah i got a copyright strike so there's another video i'm going to be posting most likely within the next few days and i'll talk more about that but i'm not going to talk about it here it just came to mind because this app knows that my dolls are american girl dolls well i took all the heads off my dolls i beheaded every fucking doll in the Etsy shop that I have because of this. I'm, as you could tell, I'm slightly irritated. I'm calm now, but this has been occupying a lot of my time this week. And that's the reason why I'm doing this video last minute, because I've been doing all other kinds of things, which I'll be sharing more with you in a separate video. Anyway, let's get back to the regularly scheduled program. Next up is Yvette. And this is a shirt I picked up somewhere along the way and some jeans I just cut up to give her that sort of grungy look. And she's got cute little bracelets on, a little bag that's from our generation and these clogs here. Mm, that's a mystery to me, but I think they went perfectly with the outfit. And now we have beautiful Isabel. She really is a beauty. Look at this seamstress made outfit once again. I bought it years ago. The person does not have an Etsy shop and I could not close these buttons on the back. My fingers were killing me. Oh, jeez. It's pretty, but it's tough to get the back closed. Next up is another one of my favorite girls. I can't say my favorite because I have so many. This is Leah and she is wearing a dress that I got from my best friend. It's off-brand, seamstress made, I don't know, and the boots are American Girl boots. Well, I hope you like this dress on her. I like the background. 
Next up is my Truly Me number 74. He does not have a name. I don't know if he'll ever get a name. His jacket is from Bella Boo's Closet in the insignia somebody made for me. So I just put it on the jacket. I love this jacket. The pants are off brand. Don't even know where they came from. And the boots off brand too. I don't know. I think I bought them from eBay. And here's the back. Next up is my Just Like You 21 and I named her Lena. And she is wearing an American Girl School Days outfit number two. I don't know what number one was, but this is number two. Let me show you the detail on the collar. Look at how nice this is. This is a really nice outfit. So if you have a chance to get it, definitely add it to your collection. And now we have my custom doll. She doesn't have a name yet, but I love her wig. And she's just wearing a mix match of stuff. And these shoes are American Girl clogs. So I built this outfit around these darn clogs. I know there's no real green in them, maybe a touch of it. They are really cute. If they go to a specific outfit, can you drop a comment below and let me know? And our final girl is Reba. Look at her. Oh boy, I don't even know what this girl has on. She has her silver hoop earrings, a green sweater, a bracelet. She thinks she's Madonna, like a virgin. Her booty shorts, these fishnet stockings. Oof, I'm not even too sure what's going on with this girl. Nope, she's out of control. Way out of control. Do you have dolls that do what she does? Let me know. I think you probably saw her last performance on the stripper pole, right? Mm, I don't know. I don't even know what she's up to half the time. And that concludes the fashion show of my doll sporting green. Not entirely green outfits, but green as part of their outfit. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, can you please give my video a thumbs up? Leave a comment if you have anything to share with me. I love to get your feedback and I respond to every comment. Now you probably already know that. And if you haven't subscribed, I'm just going to say it one more time. Please press the subscribe button. Come back again. Watch some more of my videos. And don't forget to turn on that notification bell so you get an alert every time I post new videos. Before I let you go, I just want to let you know that tomorrow, Friday, September 20th, I'll be posting a video on my dollhouse journey at 8 p.m. Eastern Time. So keep an eye out for that video. And after that, I'll be back on Sunday with another video for you. And if I have something else I want to share before then, you just might see something else pop up in your feed. Until next time, take care, everyone. Remember, AGTV for life.